information. All right, welcome back here. Bring on the Blitz. Dan Christofferson back with your quick-hitting, always high-spirited round of Friday Night Football. And what a big game we have to kick things off tonight. It's the annual Holy War as top-ranked Central Catholic paid a visit to number four-ranked Jesuit. We are the Jesuit Crusaders, and this is the big game on Coin 6 Blitz. All right, electric atmosphere at Jesuit. Crusaders and Rams tied at the half 10-10, but not for long. There goes Cameron Scarlett. He was named just yesterday as the first coin six athlete of the week. Good call. 97-yard kick return to put Central Catholic in front 17-10. Hey, that was so much fun. Scarlett would go on to score two more touchdowns in a six-minute span of the third quarter. Wow, Rams rolling 31 to 10, but never count Jesuit out. Joey Alfieri matching Scarlett with three touchdown runs of his own to pull the Crusaders as close as seven. But Central will not be caught tonight. Rams take the Holy War for the second straight year, 45 to 31. Uh, they are 4-0 and right now looking like the state's team to beat. Moving on, last week the Rams knocked off Lake Oswego, dropping last year's runner-up in the state to a 1-2 and two record. The Lakers at home tonight trying to bounce back against the Southridge Skyhawks. It's the final non-league game for both teams. Lakers were down 10 in the second half, but never fear. Mitchell Verberg, 20-yard hookup with Jordan Horak. They're in business, only behind 17-13. But Southridge will pound them on the ground. Devin Martinez from four yards out. And Lake Oswego, who did not lose last year till the state final, is already one and three. Huh. Martinez, one more time from 36 out. And the Skyhawks are all over the Lakers tonight, 31-13. Give it up for Lincoln High School's Cardinal crowd at home tonight, but the visiting Camby Cougars make all the noise on the field. Dominic Shorter from short range to make it 14 0 Cougs. Lincoln dials up the passing game. Nate Ostimo right on the money to Jeray Kendall. Could go all the way, but tripped up at the last second by Trey Belmore. Cardinals failed to score, but the Cougars just kept the attack going. Work it over to the wide side of the field to Jace Cates. Goodbye, and this one all can be 49 to 24. All right, it was a homecoming game they will never forget at Grant High School, played on a brand new turf field uh, that stands as a testament to what a community can do if they work together and never give up. Grant High School athletes took a victory lap to cap off today's dedication ceremony. A group called Friends of Grant Athletics raised over a million dollars, which included a Nike donation and a quarter million dollars from Indomitian Sue, the former Grant High football star who made it to the NFL. Sue's parents were on hand for the celebration that was 11 long years in the making. That is what drove the whole program, the kids. You know, we often forget that when we get into all the politics and all of the money raising and all the things that go into making a project like this go. But in the bottom line and the great reward is seeing these kids out here. And a fired up, packed homecoming crowd saw Indomitian Sue's alma mater run up a 19-0 lead on visiting Barlow. Aiden Schneider's going to boot the 25-yard field goal to make it 22-7 grand at halftime. The Bruins, though, roared back to make it close. Jared Childress with a touchdown burst, but Grant would not be denied on turf dedication homecoming day. The Generals hang on to win 22-20. We are halfway home. And after the break, we're going to show you the Battle of Unbeaten's Lake Ridge and Oregon City, plus plenty more ahead on the Blitz.